understand you. Where? That's what the kids said here. That's just a sample of the phone conversations some Cheektowaga teachers were having with a student turned convicted killer. Those three teachers have been on paid administrative leave since the summer, and district taxpayers are footing the bill. Now, so far, the district has not made a move. We headed to tonight's school board meeting to find out why. Rachel Kingston picks up our story live. Rachel? Well, it's been months since school district officials said they were doing their own investigation of if and where the, those teachers crossed the line. We've been asking what's taking so much time, and for the first time tonight, we heard an answer. Following the laws and the for the first time, Cheektowaga Central School Board members are breaking their silence on three high school teachers who've been on paid leave since last summer. The teachers are accused of having inappropriate communication with former student and now convicted killer Dontre Jones, while Jones was an inmate at the Erie County Holding Center awaiting trial. Time goes by and it seems like nothing is getting done, but I want to assure our district that this Board of Education is following through. We are doing everything by the book. When News 4 last questioned board members in November, they would only say the district is investigating the teacher's possible wrongdoing. Pressed again for answers Tuesday, Board President Brian Gold blamed state law for making the teacher discipline process overly cumbersome. I think especially in this community that most people expect that a case can be looked at and a decision can be made. The red tape, the, the procedure, the hearing, the whole process is just... It's not what people expect it to be. And unfortunately, it makes school boards look like the bad guy, like we're dragging our feet. But I want to assure our community that we're not. We're following the process that's there. In audio tapes released by the Cheektowaga police, the teachers can be heard disobeying police orders not to contact Jones in jail and revealing the name of a potential witness at his manslaughter trial. Some of the police told me not to have contact with you, though. I didn't put my name on it. I snitched on you. Where? That's what the kids said here. The community is starting to wonder if this is just something that's gone away, and basically what I'm saying it isn't. I asked Gold where the process stands and how much longer it might take. He said he can't go into detail about those things because of confidentiality laws, but he acknowledged the community's frustration, and he added the New York State Associ Association of School Boards is pushing for the laws to be changed and simplified. In the newsroom, Rachel Kingston, News 4 at 10.